What's up you guys? Welcome back to the vlog. My name is Taylor if you are new here and if you just came from my last vlog, you know that we are at the end of the weekend. We are going into something that I have been wanting to do but I haven't done it yet and I just thought what better time than right now to get it done. If you ha didn't just come from my last vlog, what are you doing? Have you watched it? If not, go back and watch it and then come back and watch this one. While you're at it, subscribe to the page and turn on post notifications. Okay, thank you. Today, we are actually going to be starting the process of building a little gallery wall in my living room. So we already have a gallery wall up, but I want to do more like fun, moody prints. I don't know, let me show you what we have right now. So right now, we just have this three by four grid and it's all of a bunch of our like wedding pictures we've got going on here. These are some from our wedding, wedding. This was our winter engagement shoot, a more summery engagement shoot. So we just got a lot of photos that we really loved. I kind of just feel like we've been married for three and a half years now. It'll be four years in June. So I'm ready for more fun things to go up. We bought a lot of art while we were in the south of France to go up in these gallery walls that I wanted to create. But since I'm just getting around to it now, I thought it would be really fun to just buy some prints off of Etsy and make it a little Christmas gallery wall. So that's what I'm planning on doing. I have been collecting frames for a while now, I feel like, and we've got this situation going on. So this is what I'm currently working with. I got some of these from Ikea, some of them I've thrifted, some of them have come from like Marshalls or TJ Maxx or Home Goods, but I need one to go over here. I need one to go in here. And so I just wanted to go ahead and go, we're gonna go to TJ Maxx and see if we can find the last two frames that I feel like I want for the setup that I'm envisioning. And then we can order some prints to go in the frames and then it'll be all nice and cute for the party that I am throwing at the end of this week. So also stay tuned for that vlog. But for right now, let's just go to TJ Maxx and see what we can find. ornamentation flowers in the corner. Yeah, it is pretty. And that would be different than some of the things that we have, have already. Okay, in complete and total honesty, I went into TJ Maxx and I got overwhelmed by all of the stuff that it was in there. Most of it was the cute Valentine's Day stuff. I've been seeing this stuff all over my TikTok and it looks so cute and they had some of it and I could not not buy it. I love to decorate my house for Valentine's Day. So these are some of the things that I got. Kevin actually talked me into getting this right now. It's a candlestick holder. I think it's so cute, but I also feel like it could be, we could use it in our normal decor. We want to update some of our decor to a little bit more of a maximalist style. And so this would be really cool for that. I found these little heart candlesticks, which I thought were super, super cute and would be really cute just in the gold candlesticks with the red bows that I've made for Christmas. I did get both of these frames to use in our gallery wall. I have a little space for them and I just think they're cool and ornate. I am obsessed with these glasses right now. I've been drinking out of them almost exclusively at my house, but this has little butterflies and hearts all over it and you could not find a mug that was more suited for me. And this was the star of the show. I've seen these little heart coupe glasses all over TikTok and I wanted them so bad and they only had one so we got one but we're going to be scouring the other Marshalls around me for another one. I think they're so cute. In my dream world we would find a set of four but I would settle for just two, so I need at least one more. So it was a more uh, successful trip than I had anticipated. Now I want to take down all of the frames that are on the wall, maybe patch up some holes if we need to, and then look through Etsy and try and find the artwork that I want to use so we can get it ordered so that I can have Kevin go and pick it up tomorrow so we can get the pictures on the wall.
Okay, so I ended up ordering the prints and Kevin went and picked them up So I thought I would show them to you before we put them in the frames So I think we got like 12 different prints that I either like made or bought off Etsy This was one that I made. I thought it was really cute. Just it was a white background with red But I just inverted it on Canva and added this cute little green bow this one I bought off Etsy, and anything that I bought off Etsy, I'll go ahead and link in the description, but it's just this cute little red bow that's gonna go in one of those little ornate frames. I saw something like this on Etsy, but I just ended up making it myself. It just says fa la la on it in red, pink, and white with a green background. This one I actually found on Pinterest, and I think it's so cute. Cute little Christmas cat with the tinsel and little balls. This one I got off Etsy and then I changed the background color to more of a pink color, but it is all of the different Nutcracker characters. We've got the Rat King, Clara, Nutcracker, Sugar Plum, Fairy, and the Cavalier. I took this off Pinterest too and then just resized it. It says Merry Christmas and it's got mistletoe and kisses in like a watercolor paint. And then all three of these I got off Etsy. This one is like a mistletoe plate. It's got like the holly tree. Oh, I guess it's holly, not mistletoe. But it has like the different things. Like it would be in a science textbook, which I thought was cool. This one was just somebody's print that they made that says eat, drink, and be merry, which is cute. This one I got off Etsy and it's a Santa review that says cookies were good. We'll be back next year five stars This one was actually I think an up and down print So I just cropped it down and then extended the sides out on Canva and then I haven't seen the posters yet So I'm hoping this turns out good too. Oh, I love this one so this I got off of Etsy, it had a cream background, so I just did a background remover and put a green background behind it because it's what I needed to balance out the colors. But I just love this cute little reindeer. This also from Etsy, I love this. Really cool, this watercolor painting. It reminds me of some of the like Matisse paintings that are really big right now, but with the pink background, very cool. And finally, I think our star of the show is this vintage Santa it says the night before Christmas. I found, so people were selling this on Etsy as like an actual thing that you could order. I also found it on Amazon, but I just went ahead and made a print of it and then printed it out. I think it's so cool. I'm so excited for the way it's all gonna look. I think it's gonna be really cute. So we've got Kevin taking all of the stickers off of the frames. We'll get the pictures in the frames and then we'll get them up on the wall. Okay, I messed up on this one and I ordered 11 by 14 instead of 12 by 16. So I'm trying to decide if I want to like mat it, put something around it, or just order a new one. Okay, this is the fix that I came up with. I think it looks pretty cute. We've got Heard the Bells on Christmas Day, Away in a Manger. So this is what we're working with. And now they can go up on the wall. Can you hold this side so I can step back and see?
Okay, the light in here has been my worst enemy, but I think it turned out so cute. It's a cute little art piece. I feel like it just brings more life into the space. It's less... I almost felt like the pictures of just us started to feel like sterile. They just weren't feeling like us anymore. Like I said, it's been like four years since most of those have been taken. So this is just way more updated. And then when it's time to take all the Christmas stuff down, it all will be able to like put pictures of ourselves and some of the art that we collected while we were in France. But for now, I think this is just the cutest little collection of art. Now I've been wanting to work on this space over here. So this is our record cabinet and this is just feeling very blank to me. So I wanted to hang up, I got these little shelves to hang up some of our records. So let me talk you through that next project. Okay, so we have both thrifted some Christmas records and we bought a couple. So my very favorite Christmas record is the Phil Wickham Acoustic Sessions record. It came in a double with the regular one, so I'm not sure which side I'm gonna use, but a lot of our records are white, so it might be better to use the photograph side. Kevin's favorite band is Manchester Orchestra, and so this is their Christmas album that we have. And then we've thrifted a couple. So we thrifted this Elvis one. I couldn't even tell you one a couple years ago at this point, so I thought it was really cute. Classic King. This one, when we first went to Goodwill, I didn't know who Andy Williams was, and I was like, eh, we don't need that. And then I turned on this Christmas playlist and Andy Williams was all over it and I realized he's like a cross classic Christmas song singer. So uh, we went back and we got Andy Williams and he's red, so he'll make the cut. And then this one I thought was kind of silly, but it looks really cool. So it's some sort of story with songs about Daniel Boone, Paul Bunyan, and Johnny Appleseed doing Christmas things, sung and narrated by Bing Crosby. So uh, I will be very interested to see what goes on here. But those are our five Christmas albums that we have. I want to put four. I got these little like clear acrylic shelves off of Amazon, pretty cheap. I think they came in like either a pack of six or eight, but we're just gonna use four, make a little four, uh, two by two grid. And then when it's not Christmas time, we can use them just to display our other favorite records. So we're gonna try and get those up on the wall and we'll see how it turns out. It's gonna go here. Yeah, Reach work. over and hold that. It's kind of what I thought too. Okay, so just go for it. <laughs> basically free art that we already owned. All it took were these little clear acrylic guys and I feel like they were like less than $10. I'll make sure to link them also in the description. But highly recommend using your records as decor if you're feeling like your walls are a little empty. Okay, Kevin decided that I needed to try eggnog because I guess your family really likes it. Yeah, most of my family. I've never tried eggnog, and I'm a little bit scared just by the premise of it. Mm -hmm. Do you know what it is? It's eggs and nutmeg and sugar? Cream, cream and sugar. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's, well, we have the alcoholic kind, too. Is it not usually alcoholic? So, yes, it is. It can be both. Oh. Like, the, the adult version is alcoholic. This is my favorite. It's called... Old St. Nick's. Old St. Nick's eggnog. Yep. The guys didn't know Santa made eggnog, huh? So we're gonna give it a try. We're putting it in these glasses that I love. So we thrifted these a while ago. We still lived in Georgia and I think they're so beautiful. They've just got this like gold rim. They've got the holly on them. So we're gonna try out of here. And I think I'm gonna just pour myself the smallest bit. Just a tiny bit. <laughs> yeah, I just don't really want to commit. Ooh, it is good stuff. You ready? 
Oh, he's going in. Of course I am. It's good stuff. Mm. A little bit more than you. Okay, you ready? Ooh, that's loud. Okay, it was better than I expected. Definitely better than the kind that we had at the Christmas the, bar, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. I think I would like to add a little bit of like cinnamon, like some actual spice to it, not just what's mixed in. But. Yeah, that's good. Hmm. Yeah, I can subscribe to eggnog. Yeah, they make non-alcoholic kind too, which tastes very similar to this. I don't think I would waste my time. If I'm not gonna like drink an alcoholic drink, I'm not gonna waste my time mm -hmm. just drinking. I loved it growing up. My brother-in-law cuts it with milk because he thinks it's a little too thick and sugary. So you, mm. could, you could cut it and he does like half and half milk and egg no, milk, but. I would not want it to be less sugary than this. This is good, I would say. Yeah, it's good stuff. Mm. Thank you for Proud of you. You did you did great. Try it. Yeah. yeah. I'm not the most adventurous trier of things. That's not true. But I used to not be the most adventurous trier of things and now I have grown and I'm trying a lot of things. You try pretty much everything. I'll it's not try like very it scary. at this point. Yeah. You even eat oysters. Blah, blah, blah. No, I do not like them. You I've, try them. I have tried them. You try that doesn't them every mean time. I like them. Yeah, but you will you're not like objecting on principle. Well, eggnog better than oysters. More of a dessert. <laughs> Recommend. <laughs> also, I'm wearing my cute little cat sweater that I got at the vintage market and it is just the coziest little shirt. It's like right in between like long sleeve and sweatshirt material. So, and I just love this little collar. I put a little bow in my hair. I'm feeling Christmas pretty cute today. So that's fun. Also, we love a cat shirt moment. Um, But all of that, I think I'm gonna go ahead no. <laughs> Says what is that? Friendly wants to try my eggnog. I need you to get down. I don't want you to walk in front of the camera. Pause on floor. But now that we've gotten all of that taken care of, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Make sure to like this video if you did, subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you are notified anytime I am posting. I should be posting another video in the next couple days. We're working on a lot of things right now, so make sure to stay tuned. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time.